to my channel. Today I thought I wanted to share some of my beauty routines with you guys and just have a chat about how we are actively trying to make less and more healthy waste in our bathroom. Oscar, let's just sit there. This is still a journey for me. There are areas where I feel like I have already made a huge improvement. There are areas where I feel like I need to improve in the future. And then there are things that I'm just tr kind of trying out at the moment. I think it's a pretty important part of the journey to share. Because even if you've gone down to almost zero waste, which I haven't and I don't think I'll ever be able to do that, I think it's a shame that people don't open up and speak more openly about the journey towards that lifestyle. Like, what did you do before and what kind of routines have you changed and, you know, just being more open about the whole process. Also being more open about the trial and errors that you run into because they will be there no matter what. You have good intentions with this lifestyle, but because our society is built in a complete other way than what zero waste allows us to do, for example, there will be trials and errors and there will be challenges that you run into and... I just can't stop. So just a few words about my own beauty routines. I really just try to keep things simple and minimal and also natural. So everything that we put onto our skin will get soaked into our bloodstreams. So I really think it's, it's important to kind of draw a connection between different diseases and all the harsh chemicals that we put on our bodies. I'm not saying that these harsh chemicals are the reason for these diseases, I'm just saying that it's worth considering. So, with that being said, let's have a look at my current beauty routines and where I'm at in this whole process of trying to make less and better waste in the bathroom. So I rinse my face every morning and every evening with a gentle face wash and this is just a face wash that I bought at a local supermarket. It's organic and it's without perfume and other harsh chemicals and I've been using this one for I think about a year. I've been pretty pleased about using this one, it does the job perfectly, it removes makeup from my skin, it removes dirt from my skin. But I really want to switch to a solid bar instead just to avoid the excess use of plastic. And plastic is one of the biggest concerns in general when I look at our consumption, not only in the bathroom, but also in the kitchen. Plastic is, as you may know, not biodegradable. So what happens when we get rid of something that comes in a plastic container is that it doesn't really disappear. It just ends up in the landfill and it ends up in our nature and it's pretty harmful to all living organisms, including ourselves. I really love my shampoo bar from Ethic, which is totally plastic free and I know they have body bars and face bars as well so as soon as I've used up the one that I'm using right now for my face I will switch to one from Ethic and just see how that works out for me. Recently we emptied the very last drops out of our face cream and yes we have been using the same one, it was just a random one from a Danish drugstore without perfume and colors and it was for a sensitive skin. We've both been pretty pleased with that face cream. But again, I really want to make an effort to avoid plastic products where I can and where I don't really have to stress about it. And obviously, something you can do is make your own natural face oils, which, which is something that's pretty huge, especially if you search for it here on YouTube. There's so many guides on how to make your own natural face oils. So I've actually just done that a week ago and I'm in the middle of testing out my face oil. I made one for me and one for my husband because obviously we don't have the same skin type. And as soon as I know if it's any good, I'll make sure to share the recipe with you guys. But as I said, I'm just kind of testing it out at the moment. And I have been breaking out a little bit this week and I've read somewhere that it's pretty common that when you switch from a face cream to a face oil, it's pretty common that we have a few breakouts in the beginning and I think it has something to do with the little blackheads and blemishes being like pushed out towards the skin. Really disgusting, I know. But yeah, so far I'm pretty pleased with the face oil that I ended up making and I can tell you that it's with tea tree oil which is pretty good if you have acne prone skin and it just the smell is just so fresh and really luxurious. So I really hope this works out for me. 
in the evening when I have to remove the, the last bits of eye makeup, I like to put some eye makeup remover directly onto my fingers and then just smudge it out uh, pretty gently in the eye area and rinse with water and that just does the job perfectly. I've also tried it if I've been wearing eyeshadow or something more heavy on the eyes. It works great, so you should definitely try that. I have been using a reusable cotton pad for a while, but after washing it the last time, I haven't been able to find it anywhere, and I'm pretty sure it's probably ended up in a sock or a pillow sheet or something, so maybe I'll stumble upon it again someday, but I have chosen to refuse to buy disposable cotton pads. I, I guess you're a little bit more creative and open-minded, and um, it just struck me that why not just use my fingers? And it works perfect so I do have another reusable cotton pad which I use for removing makeup and I'm super happy about that one so this whole thing about refusing to buy disposable cotton pads is working out great for me when it comes to extra face care sometimes we just need something a little bit extra especially if we have a lot of blemishes or if our skin just needs something extra, a little extra love. I like to use a natural clay mask once or twice a week. And then I also use my Derma Roller, which I have made a post about, and I'll make sure to link it here on the screen or in the description box below. And this is just enough for me to keep my skin looking fresh and keep the amount of blemishes to a minimum. So I have no magic wonder creams or anything anymore. I've really narrowed down my consumption of um, facial care. I've tried to keep it pretty natural and surprisingly, especially the, the facial oil just feels super luxurious even though it was really inexpensive and super easy to make. Now my hair care routine is so simple that it's almost boring and it's just as unfancy as it gets, but let's have a talk about it anyway. I just use a solid shampoo bar in the shower and I only wash my hair two to three times a week. Again, the shampoo bar that I use is from a brand called Ethique. I'll make sure to link that below as well. It's awesome. I have tried several different shampoo bars and I have experienced that some shampoo bars leave some sort of film on your hair. This one doesn't at all, so thumbs up for that. And then when I'm done washing my hair, when I get out of the shower, I just dry it a little bit with my towel and I put in the tiniest amount of my pure oil from Meraki just to condition it so I don't use any conditioner or anything in the shower. I am a huge fan of dry shampoo, especially now that I don't wash my hair as often. I have kind of reached a point where I want to experiment with making my own dry shampoo though. The scent is just so strong in many dry shampoos, there's so much perfume in it I feel like. And I've read so many great things about cornstarch for this purpose and I really want to try it soon and then just add a few drops of lavender essential oil to get a nice but mild scent. You guys know that I really like to give my hair kind of a wavy look and after I've curled my hair or even when I've straightened it, I like to finish off with a tiny bit of wax just to give some volume and to make it look a little bit more undone. And then occasionally I like to use our own um, homemade and natural hairspray. I don't use it that much because I feel like the wax and the volume powder is enough for me. But my husband uses this hairspray on a daily basis and he really loves it. It doesn't make your hair crunchy. And of course the best thing is that it doesn't get sticky. It's not all over the bathroom floor and it's all natural as well. What I have made in terms of shaving is to replace my conventional plastic lady shaver with one in metal. It works perfect and it's actually really sharp so you have to be careful in some areas of your body, especially if you're shaving your armpits because they're, you know, crooked areas that you need to be kind of careful that you don't cut yourself. Now a thing that I like to do is to put oil all over my body while I'm still in the shower, while I'm still wet and then when I get out I like to just dab my skin with my towel. I've already made a video about my eco-friendly pampering routine and what I like to do to yeah, just pamper myself a little bit extra, especially on days where I am in a bad mood or if I feel stressed out. I have a bunch of things I like to do that are also eco-friendly, so I'll make sure to link that video down below for you guys. 
And in general, in this whole beauty area, it's about being honest to yourself and you know, ask yourself how many products do I really need for different purposes? Do I have products that I can use for more than one purpose? And just in general, have an open mind. I've experienced that once I started limiting myself, I got more creative with what I already have. And as an example, I could go back to the eye makeup remover, the oil that I just put on my fingers because I didn't have any cotton pads, you know. It's about having an open mind and playing around with things. When it comes to deodorant, I have switched to a natural crystal deodorant and sadly I dropped mine on the floor not so long ago and it's because it gets very, you have to use it wet and it gets very slippery and it's just not very practical. So I dropped it and it went into a thousand pieces and what I did was just to put it into a spray bottle with water and now it actually works even better than before. The armpits is a super sensitive area and I used to always have like spotty and red irritated armpits before I started using this crystal deodorant and I seriously never have that anymore after I've started using this one. So I think, again, if you have very sensitive skin, it's good to get rid of those products that just has a lot of harsh chemicals in them. It's definitely not a luxurious deodorant whatsoever. And at the end of the day, if I go really close to my armpits and take a whiff, it doesn't smell like perfume, I'll tell you that. But as long as I stay odor-free and fresh throughout the day, I'm pretty satisfied. I love taking a hot bath in our ginormous tub, which is way too big, but we have it and we can both fit into it and it's great. But as I said before, I like to pamper myself if I feel stressed or if I have anxiety or if it's just a bad day and taking a bath is definitely one of the things that I really love to do to pamper myself. And a thing I recently discovered is it's pretty simple, but it feels so luxurious, is to add just a few drops of natural lavender essential oil to the bath. Seriously, the smell is like aromatherapy, it's no joke. It calms my mind down immediately, it's just the best smell in the whole entire world. I love it so much. When it comes to makeup, I haven't done much more than narrowing down my consumption of makeup and I've also been weeding out my collection, giving away a bunch of products for friends and family that I no longer used or, you know, just giving away excess stuff that I didn't need. I have for several years gone for products that are suitable for people with allergies or people with sensitive skin, so that's not really anything new there. I really want to take my, my makeup routine to a new level though. I want to, to use even more natural products and again I really want to lower my consumption of plastic containers. And a brand that I'm really really hooked on right now is the Danish brand called Mil or Mild. It's rather pricey which is part of the reason why I haven't you know, purchased anything from them yet but also because I really want to use up the things that I have right now because I'm actually pretty pleased with the products that I'm using right now. And another good thing about that brand is that 95% of their packaging is made from recycled cardboard. So again, I think it's so awesome to see a brand and even a Danish brand making an effort in terms of packaging and really trying to narrow down our consumption of plastics. And, you know, in general, our whole consumption of plastic packaging in the, in the makeup industry really concerns me. I just want to say a few words about makeup and in general, and I don't know if this is something to do with me being closer to 30 and I'm, you know, growing up, but I'm not so fixed about trying to cover up my flaws anymore. Obviously, I cover up my dark circles under my eyes and if I have blemishes I cover them up but I have just learned to acknowledge the fact that I have texture on my skin, I have pores, I'm not perfect, nobody is and just in general try to enhance my, my own favorite features in, instead of focusing so much on trying to cover up flaws. So I've just, you know, I've stopped using pore minimizing lotions and fixing sprays and I have to say I don't feel relaxed whenever I wear a ton of makeup on my skin because I can physically feel it and mentally I feel like I have to be concerned about it not getting smudged and it just takes away all the fun, you know? And seriously guys, don't take this the wrong way because I know that there are many people in the world who loves makeup. Seriously, I love makeup too, it's not that. 
So really do whatever makes you happy. Like I said, I love makeup too, but on a day-to-day -day basis, I just like to wear a lot less. When it comes to feminine products, I have recently stopped purchasing tampons and that is because I invested in a so-called moon cup, which is a reusable kind of tampon. So not to go too much into detail, but I have already used my moon cup three times and I am loving it. I won't ever go back to conventional tampons. It takes some getting used to in the beginning and you may run into some challenges. You'll have to figure that out yourself. But once that's all clear and you've got it all under control, I think you'll be very happy about it as well. Also, I like to use these 100% biodegradable and organic pads that I found in a local supermarket recently. So when it comes to feminine products, this is really another area where I have actively tried to lower my consumption and to switch to more environmental friendly products. So that's how far along in this process I am. There are definitely areas that I can still improve, like for example, skipping the plastic toothbrush and swapping it for one that is made of biodegradable plastic, which I think is often made from corn or something, or a wooden toothbrush. So let me know in the comments down below if you've made any of these swaps yourself or if you have other tips you'd like to share with me and the rest of my girls in here, just feel free to write a comment down below. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you all on Sunday for the next episode of my Effortless Style series. I wish you all a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.